Hey, if you're currently thinking about when to schedule or reschedule your MCAT, today I wanted to share my reflections on how I actually had to move my test back a few times and ended up taking a full year later than I intended, but that was a really good thing that allowed me to achieve my dream score. The short story of what happened is I had planned on taking the MCAT after my junior year of college. I hadn't even signed up for summer classes that summer. I had kept my commitments pretty low. I definitely plan on finishing the MCAT, getting it done. But then unexpectedly, a lot of things happened in my family that summer. And, you know, I was really preoccupied by what was going on at home. So I didn't really uh, get the chance to study. But even though I knew that stuff was happening, I still felt like kind of a failure because I knew other people taking the test that summer. So I felt kind of behind. I felt bad that I wasn't living up to this timeline. I imagined myself that I wasn't taking it on time when I imagined I should be. Um, but at the same time, I knew that if I took it then, it wouldn't be up to my full potential and I rescheduled and I kind of swallowed my pride there. But then once again, I ended up having to reschedule because even after my family issues had subsided, then just in the middle of school year, I was having trouble balancing MCAT setting on top of my coursework, my job, research. And once again, I felt like a failure because I've definitely heard of people taking the MCAT in the middle of the school year. And I felt ashamed that I wasn't pulling that off too. I'd already rescheduled once. I felt really bad that I had to do it again. But I took a practice test in April and I got a 503, which was not my dream score. My dream score was a 515 plus. So I was going to reschedule my test again, but then actually the pandemic ended up canceling all the spring tests. And when given the chance to reschedule, I chose a date in August just to give myself more full-time summer days of studying. But once I actually had that full time to study, um, it really picked up for me. I studied for a few weeks and then on my next practice test, I got a 509, then a 510. Then I studied for a few more weeks, got a 515, then a 516. And on my real MCAT test date in August, I got a 517, which is definitely my dream score. So yeah, I'm really glad I waited until I had adequate time to study because um, had I not waited until that summer, I don't think I would have gotten the score I did or you know, I would probably have had to take the test more than once and this way I didn't have to. And I was beating myself up for not taking it during the school year because I was comparing myself to other people, but I didn't have to do that. And you shouldn't do that because we all have different studying styles, different reading speeds, different lives, different things going on. And we don't have to live up to anyone else's timeline. You know, one of the most common pieces of advice from the AMC is to not take the test until you're ready. And only you know what that means for you. But I, yeah, I ended up taking the test a full year later than I intended. And I still applied to the um, MCAS application cycle that I always intended on applying to. So, you know, if you want to apply to medical school at the end of your senior year of college, then taking the test the summer after your junior year is a good time, but it is by no means the only time you can take the test. There are a lot of test dates. There are always other ways to work around and work your own path to medical school. I wish I could have told myself back in senior year when I was panicking about taking the test that I didn't have to panic so much about, you know, when I was getting this done because I ended up waiting until the next summer, but that was a really good thing for me. And in fact, there are a lot of things we all wish we could go back and tell ourselves from when we were studying. We wish we could tell ourselves strategies for how to study, how to take the test, how to build a study schedule, how to develop the right mindset. And that's why we have started tutoring and have created a bunch of strategy resources, um, including strategy courses. And I will link those below if you're interested in learning more. So yeah, don't ever compare yourself to when anyone else is taking the test. This test requires a lot of preparation and you need to add a quick time to do that, whatever that means to you. So if you think you need to reschedule, do it and know that that is the wisest thing for your mental health, your wallet, and your score record.